Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So it's Sunday today, I started something new last Sunday so we're going to carry it on this Sunday. So we're going to do a pick a pile as a daily Twin Flame reading for you. So I'm going to use three decks of tarot, we're going to do three piles and we're going to see what's going on. And I want to say a big thank you to all of you for reaching out to me and, you know, telling me about your unions and about coming back together with your twin. And thank you to everyone who's been sending me PayPal donations, things you've been sending to our PO box address to me and George, especially what you sent for George's birthday. And thank you just for being you. So let's do this then. So we're going to use three decks of cards today. We're going to use the Witch's Tarot for Pile 1. If you're guided to this pile, if you love this deck, this one's for you. We're going to use the Tarot de la Nui for pile number two, and that's this deck. So if you're guided to the colours, the feel, the look of this deck, this is for you. And for pile three, we're going to use the Everyday Witch's Tarot. This is a beautiful one. So if you're guided to this one, this one's for you. And then to see what else is going on within the connection, I'm going to bring in the Hermit Tarot for each pile. So let's see what you need to know. So when you're ready, pick your pile. Okay, let's do this then. So we're going to start then with pile number one. So what's happening within your connection today? What do you need to be aware of? What do you need to know? Thank you, angels. What's the energy around the Divine Feminine? That's possibly you. The energy around the Divine Feminines. What do we need to know for the Divine Feminine? And the energy around the Divine Masculine. What do we need to know? There we go. Okay. <clears throat> They're giving me <clears throat> a block in communication. So it feels like the way is being cleared. I feel there's a lot of throat chakra activation occurring right now. You know, a lot of healing in the throat chakra. So it's very likely your masculine may have been dealing with some ascension symptoms in the throat area. So it may have had a block in the throat, a lump in the throat, or, you know, a cough or flu-like symptoms as he's been becoming more aware of his truth. So He's been preparing to reach out. So you may already be in communication or you may have been receiving telepathic communication. So what's been healed or what do we need to know? Here we go. Okay. So we're going to start with these ones. So the energy is words do hurt. So it feels like there's some hurt that's happened in the past between you. And again, we've got that blue color of the throat chakra. So I feel that the mask is, you know, wanting to speak words of love now. Because he may have hurt you with words in the past. So words do heal and they do hurt. So remember when we go through the hurt, it's how we heal. You know, the masculines learn to communicate better on this journey. They do say things that hurt the feminine. Sometimes they don't even realise they're hurting the divine feminine. They're just saying what's on the mind or saying the first thing that pops into their head. And that can hurt. So the masculines want to speak more healing words now more loving words, they want to communicate better. And that's really coming through. So words do hurt. We have the power within us to harm or heal with our words. And words hurt our life. You know, and I spoke about this with the Divine Feminine readings. Make sure you're speaking into existence what you do want, not what you don't want. So speaking power into the connection. You know, this journey is beautiful. Everything is always working out for me. The universe truly has my back. Communication is being restored. Great things are ahead. Those are words that cause like power, you know, and constructive energy. They bring in a healing and a solution to any problems. When we speak negative, like negatively, you know, negativity into the connection, then it hurts the connection. So words do hurt, but they also heal too. Very powerful. I don't want to lose you. So you may have been seeing the numbers 444. The masculine is showing you he doesn't want to lose you. And the fours are also about protection. And the angels are giving you all the signs that this is real. So the masculine is saying, I don't want to lose you. And you don't want to lose your twin either, divine feminine. So, you know, you want to fight for this love. And I feel that the words that are being healed, you know, words do hurt. The words that are being healed are, I don't want to lose you. I feel they give me fear. The masculine is going through some fear right now. He doesn't want to lose you. He wants to move forward towards you. And he's 
healing anything that's you know is struggling to reach out so i do feel communication being healed and we've got weight with the number seven so weight if you've seen the number 77 or 777 you're being asked to trust you know your masculine doesn't want to lose you so you're being asked to have faith to have patience right now that this journey is moving into place so there is some delays occurring right now especially we're in April right now, between April and July, it feels like you may have to wait until July for your union or for your masculine to express their truth or speak the truth, but it's worth waiting for. So you're being reminded of that during April, he's realising he doesn't want to lose you. So the energy around the connection today, we've got the King of Cups and the Page of Wands, very powerful because the angels are showing you that good news is on the way. You know, the masculine has kind of gone within himself. Motorbike revving up there, things moving forward. The masculine has gone within himself so he can actually open up to you. You know, the page of wands is somebody who is taking control of this connection. It's really powerful again. You know, I did the page of wands energy today. So it's about movement and power. You know, the masculine showing that to you. He wants to open up and speak his truth and express himself. And he's really operating in his heart space. So there's so much love between you today that you can feel. Even if it's not communicated, it's felt and it's reciprocated. And he's showing that to you. So your masculine could be a water sign or could be a younger fire sign. But whatever sign they are, they want to express their love in a very powerful, passionate way. So there's a lot of passion between you. And good news ahead, you know, he's coming towards you, he's gaining strength and power to be able to move forward. And you're gaining strength and power. And they show me the cat as well, so the cat may be the spirit animal around you guys right now. Bringing in that strength, bringing in that power, that determination, that independence to carry on. So Divine Feminine, we've got the Seven of Pentacles for you. So this is you thinking about what you want, you know, planning the future setting intentions, making decisions, they're giving me toothpaste. And again, they give me that energy of between now and July, where this is a time where it's being created. It's being manifested right now. And, you know, you are looking after your investment. You are investing wisely into your future by saying good things, you know, speaking things into existence, being very powerful with your words and your intentions what you think about, you bring about. So you're nourishing and nurturing this connection by giving back to yourself. And this is showing you that, you know, you're looking after your investment wisely now to gain the benefits later. So again, I'm really feeling that this is you nurturing your flower garden now. You know, you're looking after things now because you know it's coming in. So again, I'm feeling between April and July, this is a time when your dreams are manifesting. Things are falling into place for you. So you're having faith in the universe and the process of this journey and trusted in divine timing. And that's moving things ahead. So you're kind of in this energy where you're in a place of peace, even though you may get frustrated or a little bit agitated because you do want this connection now. You know, you want to be spending time with them now and being with them now. But you are at a place of peace where you know that this is all happening for the highest good. So you trust that it's all happening in divine timing. That the more you nourish this love and give back to yourself, the better things will be. And that's also bringing good news in. And I feel that you're receiving all these signs from readings and, you know, your own intuition about what to do. And that's, you know, just kind of not waiting patiently because you're not waiting around for your twit, but you're working on yourself. You know, you're realizing that words have power and that you can speak things into your existence. You don't want to lose your twit. And that's why, you know, you're not going to force or pressure or push anything. You know, you're kind of waiting, doing you and trusting the timing of this journey. So for the masculine then, we've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Very powerful because you're the light in their life, you know, you're their muse and their inspiration. So when he looks at you, he sees you as someone who's very strong, very loyal, you know, very beautiful, very independent, again, connected with the cat spirit. But we've got the dog there for loyalty. So he's letting you know that he's loyal to you and only you. 
because of your power and your light and he knows that you have everything he desires you know you give him everything not just physically but spiritually financially you know you are his light his truth and he's moving into easier times now so he's showing you especially around june you know he's moving into karma water so he's going to feel easier about this journey and about moving towards you feels like he may be dealing with something between now and june that is allowing him the realization of this love and what this love is and how he can move towards it so i feel he's more likely to move towards you around june july because he's feeling easier he's feeling calmer he can see a way out of his situation there's a light at the end of the tunnel and this is really powerful because if he is with someone else if he's in a karmic situation he can see a way out from june you know, there's a way out. He, at the moment, he's looking for this way out and he doesn't want to lose you because he's where he is. But he's looking for a way out. He's looking for a decision, you know, a solution to make a decision. And that's why he's asking you to wait and be patient and trust him as he finds this way out. And, you know, you're his strength and his light and you're determined to, you know, find your own way. And he sees you as the future. So you may be an earth sign, but you're very grounded. So again, the signs are extras here. You know, we've got water sign, we've got the earth energy, grounding energy. I feel you're very grounded right now within this connection. You know, you trust that your masculine is loyal and is doing what needs to be done. And he's dealing with his emotions and he's finding his way. So that's kind of the energy of what's coming in between now and July. It's about patience and truth and determination and trusting the love. But regarding the energy of today, your masculine is very emotional today. He wants to speak his truth. He's gaining power to do that. He's also healing his throat chakra, connecting with anything he's said or done in the past that may have caused hurt or pain. He's saying to you today, I don't want to lose you. Please wait for me. Have patience with me. So he's letting you know things are taking time as he finds his way out of a situation. But you're his strength and his light and his power. And he looks at you and he wants to give everything to you. And he knows that you're very strong and independent. You know, that you are living your own life, that you've got your own life. And, you know, he feels very blessed to know you. And he feels very blessed that you are loyal to him. And he feels very blessed to have you in his life. And you know, he wants to be there for you, he wants to be a partner for you, he wants to be an equal for you, he wants to, you know, be by your side, and he feels that he's by your side anyway, energetically, you know, through telepathy, and, you know, through the love that you guys share, and I feel today, you know, you are becoming more at ease with the timing of things in this journey, and I feel that's been something you've had to learn, through grounding, going in nature, connecting with the oneself. So a very powerful reading because it's showing you there's great significant changes between now and July to move this forward. And the masculine feels everything that you feel. He's very emotional when it comes to you. I do feel that he's been spending a lot of time isolated and within his own self, thinking and working things out. And, you know, when you're together, you're the strong one and he's the emotional one. You know, it may be the other way around right now, but he's showing you how emotional he is when he connects with you. You hold his heart and, you know, you've opened him up to things within himself he's never really felt or experienced before. So a lot of power there. So moving forward in the right direction between now and July. <clears throat> I hope that helps. Wow. Pile two, welcome. So you've chosen this gorgeous Tarot de Lanoui. So what's the energy of the connection today? The energy of the connection today between you and your twin. Here we go. And the energy, that one as well. The energy around the divine feminine. That's possibly you. The energy around the divine feminine. There we go. One on the floor. And the energy around your twin or your divine masculine. Again, take the energy as it resonates with your journey. So there we go. There's the other card. And then what's been healed or what do we need to be aware of right now? Well, <clears throat> so we're going to start with these cards. Look at this. I am coming trust. I am coming trust. And number one is about new beginnings. It's about believing and having faith. So I feel you may see 1111 or 111. If you've seen 111, 111, it's the universe asking you to trust, to believe, to have faith. And if you've seen 1111, it's showing you that your twin is waking up to this truth. And he's showing you I'm coming. And I feel that, you know, since January, you felt this energy. 
you felt there is coming you felt this is moving forward so i am coming trust trust that i'm on my way and i imagine you're naked so there's also a lot of desire between the two of you you know your masculine is very kind of sexually and sensually attracted to you and he's imagining you naked he's imagining making love to you spending time with you being with you but naked is also about bearing your soul and being open and vulnerable and honest with each other and you know spending time together just being yourselves you know naked is about taking off all the masks and being authentic and that's also what i'm feeling too and i'm coming trust i feel this energy between january and august so some of you may already be in communication and he's saying i'm coming trust me and i feel this definitely heating up in the summertime here you know, around August time, the Lionsgate portal will be a big one for bringing you guys together and having real 3D interaction. But the angels are showing you that it's moving forward. So you may already be in communication. You may be in anticipation of this because he's showing you and he's been showing you since January that he's coming back to you to trust him, to, you know, believe in this love. And the energy of this, this day or this week ahead, which is also what I'm feeling, it's a big message that he is going to communicate. He is coming to you. So trust. So you're being asked to trust today. And today the energy is in. He's visualizing you. He's, you know, fantasizing about you. And he's thinking about you naked. You know, he has all this desire and longing for you too. So the energy around the connection today, we've got the Ten of Cups, which is the union energy, the happiness, the happy home the life that you guys want to share. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, which is the universe saying whatever needs to be released, whatever needs to go, it will happen. There will be eventual positive outcome in your connection. And that's why he's saying to you, I'm coming, trust me. I'm going to bear my soul to you. I'm going to take off the masks and be authentic with you and be real. And the moon is about seeing through that illusion. And we've got the devil, which is the fear. So it feels like, you know, feminines, you know that you're going to be in union. You know you are. You know it's eventually going to happen. You also know that things need to be released and healed first for that to happen, not just with your twin, but with your own self. So you're learning to look past the ego, the fear, the doubt, the struggle, and see through the illusion. So there is illusion around right now. There may not be a straightforward, you know, pathway to this journey happening for you because of a karmic situation or something that's been released but you're going to get there and that knight of pentacles with the scythe is showing that to you i feel things being cut away stripped away so this is kind of the death energy the new beginning that's coming in and the ending that needs to end so it's coming and you're trusting in this so you have faith in your union and you have faith that you can see through the illusion and you have trust that your masculine is coming to you and that he does want to bear his soul and, you know, be with you. And he's very attracted to you. And there's also this kind of obsessive longing for each other that you feel, you know, and that's what the devil is bringing in too, you know, the way that your masculine wants and craves you. So feminine, we've got for your energy, we've got the two of ones and we've got the knight of ones. Wow. So the two of ones is about having that vision, you know, and overcoming fear. And the knight of ones is about, moving things forward and i love that we've got the knight to ones because this is the energy that i'm going to be doing in the tarot series soon so the knight to ones is power determination moving towards a goal going for what you want and trusting that your twin is coming home you know the knight to ones connected with home so i feel you may have been doing things around the home maybe you're starting to work from home and you know you're passionate about your home right now so you could have moved home or you could be redecorating or sorting things out because you're preparing for your union you're preparing for the future you know you're getting ready you're trusting and when you're looking back now you're blessing the past and you're realizing why things happen the way that they do because you're transforming too so this is really about your transformation and I feel this has been taking place, they're giving me fear, so again, releasing lots of fear, this transformation within you has been taking place since February time, they give me a lot of fear when I'm connecting with you, so, you know, it's took a lot for you to trust that your masculine is coming, you know, it's took a lot for you to realise that 
It's about bearing your soul to each other and being vulnerable and letting down that guard. And, you know, you're kind of just doing you right now until your union. And I feel that, you know, date wise, if we're going to give you some timelines here, we've got February to October as big shifts and changes. So for the masculine, we've got the ten of wands. So I do feel he's burdened right now. You know, he's been trying to do things by himself and he's been dealing with blocks and obstacles and struggle. Again, similar cards coming out in the tarot series because that's the energy we're in. So he's been working through his blocks and his pain. And I do feel, you know, he may have been dealing with some ascension symptoms, especially fire energy, you know, heartburn, maybe stomach pain, acid indigestion. He's been releasing things from himself. And we've got the five of swords. So he's also what is saying to you, you know, I want to fight for this love. I want to defend this connection. I'm willing to stand up and fight. And I feel he's more likely to come forward and show you who he is, you know, around May time. It feels like he's preparing now to move forward. And they're showing me the chandelier as well. You know, so this is also about illumination and power and things being shook around. So we've got the seven of swords moving forward and we've got the two of pentacles. Wow. So what this is showing is, you know, big changes and shifts coming in where he's taking control. He needs to release himself from the past. He doesn't want to be back and forth in this connection. He wants to be in the connection, you know, all in. He wants to be all in. And he needs to release himself from the past first. And he's letting you know with the Cinderella card, which I always see this as, you know, that you are everything to him. Nobody else can take your place. Nobody can fill your shoes. You are the one. And he dreams about that. He dreams about freedom. <clears throat> and they're giving me blocks in the throat chakra today so i really feel that things have been healed to bring you together so again you know i feel may to july is going to be very strong and powerful for him coming forward it actually feels like since october you know last year he's been going through some struggles and some healing and this means you have too because you pick up on this you mirrors of each other there's a lot of healing. So between October and, and kind of January, February, he's been getting ready to make changes. And he wants to be free, he needs to be free. So I feel there could be a karmic situation here or something he's releasing himself from in his life to be free, to follow his heart, to get rid of his ego and his struggles with the illusion and the 3D world. And he needs to cut that away. So I definitely feel I'm moving forward here, but he's saying to you today, you know, you are my number one, you are my priority, you're everything I've been seeking and searching for, you are the person I dream about, especially naked, being vulnerable and open and loving each other, and he's willing to fight for this love, and he's going to fight for it, I feel this is more likely to come in around May to July, so big shifts and changes then, he's been dealing with burdens, responsibilities you've been finding yourself you've been looking at the way things have happened and why and you've been doing a lot of healing within yourself and he's saying trust me i'm coming and this is what he's doing here you know moving towards you but he's going to be doing it in an energy where he's free and able and capable of being with you so it really is about trusting the timing of this journey and giving it to god i hope that helps have a great day and i'll see you soon pal three so you've chosen this gorgeous everyday witch tarot so thank you angels what's the energy around your connection today the energy around your connection today what do we need to know here we go and the energy around the divine feminine that could possibly be you the energy around the feminine and the energy around the divine masculine Woo. okay that one is coming out very powerfully there we go yep just that one card then wow so what's the energy? What do we need to know about right now? What do we need to know about right now? What's going on? Here we go. So the energy we've got with the Hermit Tarot then, you matter, wow. And this is pink energy. This is romance. You matter in a romantic way. So he's saying to you, you know, you are the love of my life. When I think about you, you know, I want you. You matter to me. And everything that you want, I want too. So he's really showing you from his heart space that, that he loves you and he cares you know, that you matter. So if you've been dealing with struggle around that, thinking that, you know, you don't matter to him or he doesn't care or, 
you know, he's more bothered about other things, then think again because he's letting you know from his heart space that you matter. We've got, I'm obsessed with your body, the number 15. So, you know, he's obsessed with your body. That means he wants you. You matter to him. He thinks about your body. You know, he's very isolated right now in his life as well. So he does have moments where he craves you and he wants you and he desires you. So he's saying, I'm obsessed with your body. And I feel, you know, if you've been dealing with any insecurity around your body, it could be about age, it could be about, you know, the way you look, it could be about comparison with somebody else. He's saying, I'm obsessed with you and your body and you matter. So that's letting you know and reassuring you in the physical world that you are the one he wants, that he thinks about you, regardless of what's going on around you, and be more selfish. So he's saying to you, I need to be more selfish. That means he needs to put himself first, especially connected with lifestyle, money. You know, the orange is really standing out for that there. That means prosperity. So I feel he needs to be more selfish with his own needs. You know, so do feel that he may put other people before himself and that's held him back from you and that stopped him from being open and honest with you. So he needs to be more selfish. And this is also giving you that message too. you know, think about your needs right now and what you want and what's working for you. So and he's definitely not selfish. You know, if he's if he's felt selfish to you, I don't feel that you felt he's selfish, but if you felt like you know, he's being very selfish and he's not really giving to you. He's saying to you, Luke, you matter to me. Okay, I need to be more selfish with myself to actually move this forward. So we've got the four of pentacles, we've got the three of cups and we've got the knight of wands, very powerful. And again, I love how we've got all these wands coming out when I'm doing the ones in the tarot series. So the knight of wands is about he's moving towards you. Now you can see in this card, there's a dragon there. So that red dragon is a fire dragon and that's moving obstacles and blasting things out of the way. But it's also showing you that the masculine has help, help from the hidden realms, help in unseen ways that you may not be aware of. So he's on his way. You know, he is coming home to you. He is, he is on his way to you. He is taking action to make that reunion possible. And this is you right now celebrating, enjoying life giving back to yourself, I feel that, you know, you could be spending time with friends, you could be spending time with family, you know, getting to know yourself, you're feeling stronger right now than ever, and you're learning to let go and trust in the timing of things and the process of it all, but regarding your twin, for him to move forward to you and to bring in that beautiful reunion that you may have been dreaming about, that he's been dreaming about, the physical connection, he needs to let go of his physical world. So again, he's sitting on that treasure chest and that's connected with lifestyle and things he needs to heal. He's wearing green as well, so a lot of heart healing happening and he needs to walk away from the past. So there's a big change going on within your masculine's life. He is looking for a way out because the wind is open and, you know, this cat is looking out and I am connecting with the cat spirit guide around everyone today too, which is independence. So he's fighting for his way out. And this cat is kind of saying, you know, God's opened a window here. You know, he may have closed a door, but he's opened a window. So there is a way out. I feel that he's kind of sitting in the, the porch. It's like he's come out from the house, but now he needs to go out into the, the world. So He's trying to find the right time and the strength and energy to leave things behind and move on so he can bring in that celebration. And you've been expecting this, you know, you, some of you may have already had a reunion with your twin and he's already on his way, he's showing that to you, even if he still has to move away from his life or change things in his life. But you already know that that's coming. You can feel it, you know, he's, and from the masculine perspective, we've got the seven of cups, so you know, he'll always choose you. He's got many, many things he can choose, many, many decisions he can make, but he will always choose love and he will always choose you because you're the one. So this is showing you, you know, where he is right now. He's making decisions and he's got choices in his life and things he needs to change. And I am feeling again, this energy where between now and July he's making changes. So 
big, big shifts coming in over the next few months. So for you, Divine Feminine, we've got the Six of Pentacles and the Sun. So what makes you happy is giving and being of service and, you know, loving life. So there's so much happiness around you right now. You know, it's like you're being reborn. You're seeing things through fresh eyes. You know, you're making things happen. And the angels are showing you that you and your twin are coming together, especially if there's an age gap. You know, for someone watching, you may need to hear that. You know, don't worry about the timing of things because everything's in divine timing. And, you know, if your masculine's younger than you when you were older, it's for healing. You know, and I'm being guided to do a video on age gaps as well. So any age gap, if you're the older one, he's the younger one, then it's exactly how it's meant to be. And there's so much happiness there. And don't worry about things not happening. You know, if you're worried about your body clock or they show me pregnancy and, you know, fertile times and happiness and children and family in this card too. You know, the timing is kind of all in God's time and, you know, nothing is impossible with God. All things are possible with God. And you're being reminded that even though you may not connect with God, you may connect with mother nature i feel that you know you could have like earthly roots here not necessarily pagan but this is you know living a life where you're connecting with the earth and the soil and moon cycles and you know like like a white witch in a way you know you're using the elements to bring in power into your life so whether you connect with god the universe mother sky or well, mother earth mother sky father sky you know, Mother Nature, whoever you're connecting with, Mother Gaia, I feel you know that everything is a cycle and you're preparing for the next cycle and you feel this is shifting. So regarding today, I feel your masculine is struggling to let go of material things and things that need to go from his life and he's being guided by heaven that there's a window open right now of opportunity and change to bring you back together. The dragons are helping to blast things out of the way. He's choosing love. So he's being more selfish with himself. He's saying, you do matter to me. And you matter because, you know, I love you and I care about you and I'm obsessed with your body. And I want to move things forward. And you're working on self. So you're working on you and giving and receiving and understanding why there may be an age gap or why there may be a difference between you or you know, something that's been healed and it's to bring in happiness. And I feel 2019 was also a very powerful year for your connection and for your life. And, you know, they are showing me the three-year period from that, 2019, 20, 21, 22. So this is a year of big, great change, a year of reunion, a year where things are happening and they're happening now. And we're also being shown the full moon in here. So between now and the full moon, big changes. So you do matter. Your masculine does love you. He is obsessed with your body. So if you've been thinking, does he want me? Is he attracted to me? Yes, he is. And you know that. And he's being more selfish, spending more time thinking about you and connecting with you in the 5D realm. But there's definitely a reconciliation coming in. There's definitely that reunion energy there. And this is because you're enjoying life and giving back to you. And that's revving things up and moving things forward. And that was a red car, red sports car. That may mean something to someone watching. So don't worry about the age gap. Everything's happening for a reason. Don't worry about any lifestyle gaps or any other changes because it's all happening to move things into place. So the message for today is to know that you do matter. He does love your body and he does fantasize about you. And he needs to be more selfish right now, as do you, to work on your own needs. But great things coming in, trust and have faith. I hope that helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.